but even looking at this photo we're going to be able to see his hair type with this hair being this short we're already seeing it curling so that just goes to show that he has most likely a 4b even possibly a 4c hair which is a very tight curl pattern which is very easy to actually freeform which Jimmy Butler actually does. But we'll dive in a little bit deeper into this. But before we do, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below who you guys would like to see next and subscribe if you guys are new because I drop dreadlock content every single week. So let's take a look at this first photo with his dreadlocks. And obviously you can tell that there's a little bit of sectioning, but that just comes naturally with his hair type. And like I said earlier, he does have the high top fade, which looks really cool with his hair. And not only that, he has a clean lineup and this is a perfect way to actually do freeform dreadlocks. In my opinion, I think it's just, it's just a really clean look with freeform because you got to think about it freeform dreadlocks is essentially just washing your hair and allowing it to do its own thing now i want to tag onto this that not everybody can really freeform and get these results now everybody can freeform but you just won't get the same results that we're seeing jimmy butler get i will say that the tighter your curl pattern is the more sections your hair will actually get while freeforming now the straighter your hair becomes when you're down to the two range or even if you try to freeform with one hair type it's pretty much just going to create a really big section and a big knot and that's just how it's going to be it's going to be very matted which freeform dreadlocks are but like i said with the tighter curl pattern you're going to get in my opinion more of a true result to what freeform dreadlocks look like now i say that very loosely because freeform dreadlocks don't have a look but they do have a method and it's just literally just allowing your hair to lock up on its own but typically when people think of freeform dreadlocks they think about the weekend they think of Jimmy butler's dreadlocks they think of Lil wayne's dreadlocks they think of bob marley they think of basquiat all of these people that have freeform dreadlocks that's what people picture in their head when they think of freeform dreadlocks they don't think of, of people that just don't have the tools necessary to actually comb their hair and take care of their hair and wash their hair because literally that's some of the results of freeform dreadlocks as well now one thing we see jimmy butler do often is he goes through like a rough stage as well before he gets a clean fade and cleans everything up and we've seen this with so many other people and i completely understand because i do the same thing and i would actually recommend this for a lot of people don't try to maintain your hair perfectly all the time just because you're going to be upset with your hair most of the time if you're doing that because if you're trying to get your hair perfect to the way that you think it should look every single day then you're just going to be wasting your time because it's not going to always look the way that you want it to it's just one of those things to appreciate your hair how it is every single day and just learn to grow with it but what I want to point out in this photo right here is that we're able to see a lot of breakage at the tips of his dreadlocks, which is completely normal, especially with him freeforming. I can say one thing with seeing the breakage, it makes me think that he's not completely freeforming, which I can explain that. If there's a lot of breakage at the tips like that, typically it would come from doing some sort of sponge rub because obviously he doesn't have perfect sections. You see some big sections, you see some really skinny sections, and obviously his tips aren't well developed. So he's not doing twisting with gel or anything like that, like a hard maintenance method, but he could possibly be doing towel rub or sponge rub and that's why i'm saying it because we see the breakage of the tips we see some of the tips falling off and really that's just a result of traction or friction taking place on the top of the head which you guys heard me multiple times where traction and friction typically happen on the sides and the back of the head not that much on the top of the head even if you're wearing a hat not too much traction happens now if you're doing a maintenance method like sponge rub or towel rub then you're getting traction and that can result in breakage, especially using the sponge. Now, as great as the sponge rub method is, it can cause a breakage like we see with Jimmy Butler here. So this kind of explains how he's not actually completely free forming, although he could be. This breakage could be natural as well. But I will say if you want to prevent this breakage and you just want to have that look, just keep an eye on it. And if that does happen, don't worry. It can always join back together with the hair. You can do it one of two ways. Just allow it to naturally happen. Or you can actually maintain it back in either using your fingers by just twisting it in or using the crochet hook, which is actually the most effective method. Now, fast forward some time, we see that his congos are actually developing, which is actually really cool. And like I said, this is a polar opposite from the previous photo because we see that his fade is nice and clean. He has a nice clean beard trim and everything's nicely lined up. But one thing I really appreciate about Jimmy Butler's dress the congos that he actually has and i'm sure a lot of people wonder how his hair actually stands up in the front like that and to be honest i think it's mostly just because of his hair type being so thick and obviously his hair being so thick as well based on how sharp his hairline is it just goes to show how packed his hair actually is now a lot of people don't know this and i've never actually explained it but your hair typically on the top of your head only comes in one to two maybe three follicles and a follicle is essentially just a hair seed just like if you're planting a seed in the ground for a plant to grow so if you picture a pore 
and a seed inside the pore, which is your hair, that's a follicle. And sometimes those follicles have two to sometimes three or even four hairs in them. So typically if people have a very packed hairline or a packed top of the head with a bunch of hair, because they have a lot of multiple hairs versus just single hairs. Now, another reason why his hair could be standing up in the front right there is also just from wearing a headband possibly, or even tying his hair up. Another thing we can actually notice from just looking at this photo right here, we're able to see that he has a widow's peak in the front, which I've actually never noticed. That just goes to show how effective a hair lineup actually is. But yeah, if you do want your hair to stand up like Jimmy Butler's, you can actually pull it up when you're sleeping and then just take out the hair tie or whatever you're using to tie your hair up off in the morning or after you shower, however you ever want to do it. But one thing you have to know is even just like how you twist your hair with gel, if you do that method, all you're doing is you're training your hair to actually go in a direction that you want it to go in. And that's what Jimmy Butler does as well, is if you wear a headband or if you pull it up at night, you're just training your hair constantly to go in a certain direction. Like we've seen with the weekend's hair, he had two big sections. And